Hey there guys, Headphones Neil here, back with a game review for the OnePlus 8 Pro. So I thought I would do a game that I haven't played in a long time. I did start playing it a while back on, I want to say my OnePlus 3T maybe, or maybe prior to that my Amazon Fire Phone, but I never really got further into it beyond the initial introductory level of the Endar Spire and landing on the planet. So I thought I'd play it now um, after this time uh, with a more powerful phone, higher graphics, and see what I thought about it. So um, overall, my initial impressions are that it's good. Um, jumping into some of the settings, um, you get all the usual um feedback of the or the settings in the game that you remember from the xbox playstation or the pc um as far as graphics i have the shadows grass high quality and frame buffer turned on so um usual stuff there i turned up the brightness a little bit for visibility um you do have connections to um google play so that's also a definite plus there so you get achievements and stats and all of that um beyond that that's about really all there is for the settings you also get to watch the movies if you want to check those out um so from there i'm going to continue the game right now i'm on the lower levels in the underworld of terrace so i thought i'd play around and navigate to share some of that so um, I've just entered the underworld so I can uh, play around with checking out this guy's inventory. Um, prior to this video, I did already buy some equipment, some um, poison protection and stuff like that. So I'll buy a few more med packs um, and move along from here and navigate. So navigation is pretty safe where you hold your finger down and move your finger up and then rotate if you want to turn. So overall pretty good. So um i like so navigation takes a little bit of getting used to but once you do it is pretty easy and then having auto uh, pause turned on makes it easy to uh plan out your moves to figure out how you want to attack switch out equipment and all of that um the only real downside to the game is that you do still have the kind of quality of graphics for 2003 or so, I believe, when the game first came out. So, um, overall, um, it's I am enjoying the game. I do like playing it on higher graphics because it does make it that much more uh, fun and entertaining. So... Um, I def so um, it's pretty good to do that uh, navigation you do get the buttons underneath the um, each move style so you can uh, play around with um, um, how you want the uh, or how what kind of attacks you want to do so as you can tell um, I didn't really do well on that round with killing that rat ghoul so I'm gonna um, reload the game and give it another shot so i might need to switch to a blaster instead um or maybe a different attack style so um i actually don't want that load the same game so load two hours so probably that one is the one i want um so i'll give it another shot so if Karth would get out of my way, I can do that. So, um, let's see. I'm gonna change. So, I have my armor is okay. I'm gonna take that off and, um, let's do blaster pistol. I can't, or actually, I'm gonna do a blaster rifle. Um, So I'll skip through some of these um, scenes as uh, best as I can. Oh, and I didn't want to do that option. I guess I was going too fast. So let's try that one more time because I do want to get the experience points. So um, overall, though, the navigation or playing the game is super smooth and it is a 
all. Basically, the only hard part for me was um, getting used to the navigation, which was finicky, and there were times when it felt like the um, contr the graphics were stretched out a little bit. They were not moving around. Boxes weren't navigating as well as they should. But since then, it seems like um, that... I, I might have just been getting used to it or maybe early on because there's a lot of pop-ups going on and gets a little bit confused or there might be a few random bugs in the gate so are they in the game so that's only the only real reason why it might be um kind of hard to um play the game but um overall once you get used to um, navigating around a little bit then um, then you do find that it's easier to play the game and um, it is that much more entertaining so um, that's pretty good there and then leveling up is easy to get through but the numbers do feel like they're they are kind of small so it might take a little bit of getting used to on uh, that front as well so um, I do recommend going slow there, um, and then setting your feats is also a little bit harder to do, so, um, I recommend still going slow, so, um, that is something to, um, take your time with and not rush through if you can avoid it. So, that's really the bulk of that so if you um have any questions or concerns or anything like that then uh definitely reach out to me my twitter is patel n01 the website is patel n01.com for um the past episodes subscription links um supporting the show and all that good stuff i might do more um reviews on different levels just to see how they play around how the graphics hold up on various levels but based on what i see here then um the graphics should overall be um um the graphics should be good and I, they should hold up overall so um now that i have uh, third person in my party I'm gonna for usually in the first KOTOR game I, I'll auto level up my extra party characters and I'll do a manual level up for myself so um, let's see I'll give her that do a combat shield she has stealth enhancements I'll give her some pistols and so now that she's all leveled up i'm gonna go back to my character and let's see i have you know, that's equipped uh let's see i guess i need to have higher critical hits so maybe i'll give that to car see if i can help him out a little bit and he's not high enough either so um, I'm gonna give him a combat suit so he's more protected and save our game. So that's really the hard part of it. Uh, the only other thing to get used to also is picking up um, different um, fallen uh, things that have fallen on the ground. So once you get used to double tapping in the right area, then um, that is the one of those other hurdles to get over so once you get used to that then the, playing the game is that much more easy um i do recommend turning up the brightness a little bit because these early parts of the game um are a little bit dark so um i do recommend doing that so that's about it so maybe every couple of levels or different worlds once i start in on them i'll do further reviews but overall the terrace part of the game is uh, pretty good it's uh, getting used to gotten I've gotten used to it so it's um, still entertaining enough to play and makes me want to keep going and play further so 
Um, definitely a game worth checking out if you haven't played it. It's available in the Google Play Store. And I'm going to try the antidote pack, see if that helps me out a little bit. Uh, see what. So I guess you use a med pack. So definitely one of those things where it um, doesn't hurt to um, pick up different um, items and just and basically keep at it and make sure you keep your health as high as possible. So having your um, team work out just like that is a good idea. Um, keeping auto pause turned on is always a good thing as well. So um, definitely a, still a fun game to play and I recommend giving it a shot. Um, so I'll play a little bit here, clear these out, check out this area and that'll be all for this particular review. So, um, and some of it I, because I did play this a while back, it's been all the strength, or it's because it's been some years since I played, um, the game. Some of this is from memory, some of this is, um, um, just stuff I remember, some of it's new, some of it's just because of my years of not playing it, so... Definitely worth checking of uh, checking it out, and of course, for me, I always recommend uh, getting rid of items that you are not using to get some more money, so you can buy stuff if you have to have a chance to um, if you have a chance to upgrade your different items, then do that as well. So that is the, really all there is for this um, load or mission should be able to um, get me some mines so I'm going to try and see if I can avoid killing her in the process. Oh, perfect so now I have a mine. So because I have nothing else to go back to the direction I came from. I guess there's not much else here to look at. Um, so save that and then I'll go into this level and that should be all for this review. Because we're in a mine, I'm going to have Mission try and recover the mine, and we'll call it a review. But overall, good graphics, good transition screens. The um, idea is that you still that because I don't remember um, everything as much as I used to, but enough of it's familiar. Playing with higher graphics, um, being